what I'm gonna do before we bring in my dog named Joe, yes. who's now whining yes. off camera with Cindy, uh, um, I want you to see Andy. Hi, Andy. Uh, Andy's going to uh, be zooming in, if not already, on Moo Shu's face. Okay. And we're gonna see her reaction to, to the this. Dog coming in. Her whiskers should flare forward and be very forward because it's picking up everything. These eyebrows, everything will, will, and in fact, they're all ready because she's interested she in what's behind the door. Sure. Her ears are forward. Let's see. Go ahead, Cindy. Come on in. And then let's see what happens. Let's just keep them sort of there first and then come on and come and take a couple steps. Joe, Hi, behave. Joe. I've got a crazy three-year-old coonhound mix dog who absolutely loves cats. Oh, he loves cats. He doesn't have a choice. Oh, he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Any dog in my house has to like cats. I have a boxer, and I have, her name is Holly, and I have Joe, oh boy. Um, so his collar was too tight, and he's pulling on it. Joe, okay, you can bring him a little closer, and we're just gonna keep on the cat's face. And did you see how forward the whiskers are? She's watching. Okay. And Carlos ain't a happy camper either. Right. <laughs> Carlos is looking. And see what happens is the hair on the back has gone yes. up on Carlos. The hair on the back has not gone up on Mushu. No. Now, is that just because they're um, accepting this dog differently? Or does Mushu feel more comfortable because she's in your lap? Mushu feels more comfortable because she just feels more comfortable. If, she, if he was in my lap, he'd do the same thing. The hair is up to make them look bigger than they are. They're do he's doing everything to make himself look bigger than he is. She's pretty relaxed. Her nails are not digging into my legs, which will happen. You can bring her, what? Oh, she's declawed, that's why. <laughs> well, do, you, Thanks, Cindy. do you feel her paws moving? I don't even feel her oh, paws getting tight. How about that? You can bring Joe around, Cindy, a little bit to the corner of this table. We're gonna go slow. Don't let your dogs, okay, when you get okay. home, run up to the cats. Go ahead. Thanks, Cindy. You want to put your dogs on a leash when introducing the cats because they're the ones. Joseph, relax, buddy. Carlos is doing the Halloween cat yeah, pose Car in the corner. He's standing on his tippy toes. He's making himself look bigger. You'll see him. He'll turn to his side to, make him, to give him the full effect. No, he's going to sit down, but his whiskers are way out. Mushu's fine. Her, she's over it. She's over it, but I think she would probably go if she needed to. And Joe, he just loves the cats. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If, you let, if, if we let Joe go and he ran over to Carlos, Carlos is in a corner. Yes. You never want to corner a cat. No. They I'm, will come out swinging and they go for the eyes. Yes, my dogs have experienced that once or twice and in their I will have, lifetime. Yes, this <laughs> dog could lose an eye. Yes, I'm surprised mine right. haven't. <laughs> you never want to do that. So you want to keep your dogs on a leash and introduce them slowly. See how the cat does. This cat, this cat is frightened to death. Come here, Carlos. He's not going to come over. And Mushu. She's just like, eh, she's whatever. Just, eh. Okay, so come on a little closer. Okay, she's gonna look and she's gonna see. And Joe, of course, wants to go up to her and clean her, which he does. And she's not even hissing. Look at that. But every single whisker is flared forward mm -hmm. to catch, you know, what's going on here. Her full attention is. If she was upset right about now, her ears would flatten. She'd already be hissing. And, and things would not be good. Okay, Joe, I know mommy's here. Okay, oh, I don't need a fi high five. Okay, <laughs> sit down. Sit. Sit. Very good, Joseph. I know. High five me. Okay, three years old. He's still like a puppy. He's mommy's hyperactive. Yes, okay, he sit is. Down. He's very I'm a cat excited. person. Did I tell you that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironic that you have two dogs. I love these guys. The, look at, she doesn't even care. But her eyes are dilated. Okay, now she just growls yes, underneath. But He's getting a little too close for her comfort. Okay, come, sit. You can let him go, Cindy. There you go. Now behave for mommy on camera. <laughs> 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 All right, so, and he, he, like, you don't see this dog flying at the cats. He just really wanted mom. Yeah. Joe. Come, sit, sit. 
Oh, I know. Oh, Joe. Okay. It's so rough being on TV. Yeah. Uh, this is a coonhound mix. You see the racing stripe up his nose. Okay, let's just see. Look at him. He's like, uh -uh. Yeah, he's like, oh, this thing's is getting a little gonna, too close. Is she going to scratch me? Come here, Joe. You want to see? Has he had that experience okay. before? What's that? With the cat scratching him? Oh, yeah. At home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's how you do it. You know the Slow dog's transition. not going to go after the cat. You know this cat's fine with the dog. I'm going to let her go. Um, she's... She's, she's curious, it seems. Yeah, she might even go sort of near him. But she's going to go somewhere where... Um, Carlos ain't happy. No, <laughs> if Carlos ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> All right. He so, has a look on his face like, uh, no way. Sorry, Carlos. <laughs> Joe, you did a good job, buddy. Good job, Joe. Give, come here, give me a high five. Give me, give me a high five. Joe, thank you. That was sort of a hype. Yeah, he's like, I oh, just I wanna, I'm just gonna joke. hang in your lap. Oh, I love my Joe. Oh yeah. And the dog people are like, get him off your lap, make him do things. <laughs> <laughs> the dog trainers, not all the other people, right? Uh, that's my Jojo.